Hi everyone, welcome to the Random Home Gadgets channel. The Ugreen NA Sync series are the newest NAS devices in the market. In this video, I'll show you the unboxing, initial setup, and review of the most popular model, the DXP4800 Plus. First, let's take a look at the features. This NAS uses aluminum alloy design with a clean and premium look, easy hard drive installation, smart cooling fan with magnetic dust mesh filter, 12th generation Intel Premium Gold processor, support up to 96 TB of storage with two SSD drive slots and four STAT drive bays, expandable RAM up to 64 GB, variety of data ports, in-house developed UGOS Pro system with the possibility of installing other OS such as Unraid or TrueNAS, etc. Unboxing Accessories HDD base
install HDD. Connect power core. Connect Ethernet cable. Turn on power. Initial setup. You can perform the initial setup through the web browser or through the phone app. In the web browser, type in find.ugnas.com. It will automatically search for the Ugreen NAS device within the local network. Once it's found, tap Connect. It will prompt you to name the device, create an administrator username and password. From this step on, it will be the same as using the phone app. So now let's switch to the Ugreen NAS phone app instead. Tap New Device Registration. Tap Star Scanning. Tap Register. Tap Star. Edit the device name. Create an administrative account. You may create a Ugreen Cloud account at this point, but I'll skip for now. You may select how you would like UGOS Pro System to get updates. 
I personally like to install updates manually. So I will select the notify me when updates are available. Tap next. Tap start to complete the initiation process. Tap reboot once it's done. Connect back to the device with the administrative username and password. Now you are in the UGOS Pro system. The system will prompt you the first must-do task to create a storage pool and volume. Tap Create Now. You may select several different storage configurations. I'll stay with the recommended RAID 5. Then you may select which hard disk to be included in the storage pool. I'll select all of them. You may also turn on hard disk health test to make sure there's no bad drives. This process may take a few hours to days, depends on how big your storage pool is. The system will prompt you the second must-do task, which is creating a folder for file upload. Follow the prompts to complete it. The third must-do task is to set up the Ugreen Link service so you may access your NAS remotely from outside of your local network. I'll skip it for now. Now it's all set up, you may go to the File Manager and start uploading your files to the NAS. Here are my final thoughts of this NAS device. Pros, high quality build material, great hardware for the money, easy to set up, option to install other OS if you don't like the native UGOS Pro. Cons, UGOS Pro is a newer system, therefore the functionalities of the software are limited. However, it's been improving with each update. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please write them down in the comment section below. See you next time!